Now let us try to develop a project which is a 5 star rating system. You might have seen or even rated your experience using 5 star rating systems for movies, courses, etc. So let us try to develop a 5 star rating system using jQuery. The system will look like this at the end. You will see 5 stars and below you will see a text like please rate your overall experience and when you move the mouse over different stars it will be displayed in a yellowish color and once you click on a particular star the color will be changed and you will see thanks you have rated this two stars again when you move the mouse over you will see a different color and when you click on it you are seeing thanks you have rated this five stars once you click on it that is once you rate this if you move to a star previous to that, then the color will not be changed until you click on it. So once you click on it, you will see, thanks, you have rated this four stars. But when you move the mouse, the color of this is not getting changed until you click on a particular star. See, thanks, you have rated this two stars. On the other hand, when you move the mouse over a star, which is of higher value, you are seeing the stars in a different color and when you click on it the color changes so this is a five star rating system we are going to develop using jquery and to display these stars we are going to use awesome font which you can get from internet for free i will show you the link from where you can get the awesome font and that font is used to display these kind of stars if you just want to display some star like shape it is possible even without awesome font but I wanted to display it in this format so I am using awesome font. So let's see how we can develop a 5 star rating system using jQuery which will work like this. To illustrate this I have already saved a web page named 5 star rating.html and I have added the title 5 star rating system and this is the latest jQuery file I have added online and this is the link from where we can get the awesome font you can get it from their own site here i have used it from cdnjs.cloudflare.com ajax libs font awesome 4.7.0 version so using this font we will get the star shape so let's have the required elements first let me first add a div element with id container for easy styling because we are going to add all the elements within this div element. Then I am going to add an unordered list with li elements because we can add the stars using i tag as per their documentation. So I am going to add a ul element and within this I want to have 5 stars. So I am adding 5 li elements and to have a star shape using the awesome font what we need to do is I can specify I with class name F A then F A star then F A F W if we specify the class name like this for L I we will see the star shape which I have already shown you so let me copy this and paste it four more times because I want to have five stars in total so 4 5 now let me save this and show you the output see we are seeing five different stars like this as we have added them as unordered list items they are displayed with bullet points we need to style this to display them as we want okay next we want to have another div element or span element to display the message like please rate your overall experience in the beginning and also thanks you have rated five stars you have rated three stars like that so let me add a div element with id say message which we will use to display the corresponding message so initially we want to have it like please rate your overall experience so this is the initial message now we are ready with the front end next we need to style the item so that they will be displayed as we want so within the head let me add the style section and let me first style the container so hash container and let me set the width 
to be say 400 px height to be say 250 px and margin as 50 px auto so that it will be centered next let me style the li elements that is the elements which contain the stars so i want to display them one next to the other so let me set for display property the value as inline block now let me save this and show you see now they are displayed like this one next to the other previously it was like one below the other so i have specified the value for display property as inline block so they are displayed one next to the other i want to have it in bigger font size so let me specify font size to be say 40 px and also i want to have some gap between the stars so padding let it be say 10 px let me save this okay it has become too big and the width is not enough i think so let me set it to 35 px and see the difference okay now it is displayed like this and initially i don't want to have them in black color it is already looking like they are marked right so what we can do we can give some light color for that so let me specify the color as hash cc c this is a color i have already chosen okay so this is the color in which it is displayed next what i need to style i need to style this message div element so let me style that as well hash message let me set a font size of say 25 px and see the difference see it is displayed like this now these stars are moved towards the right hand side and it is displayed towards the left hand side right so what we can do for the whole ul element here we have styled the li element so for ul let me set a padding of 0 px and also margin of 0 px and see the change see now they are displayed like this this is fine right they are displayed properly aligned with each other so it is displayed like this and we are also seeing please rate your overall experience just below the stars now the front end is ready next we need to write the code that is a jquery code to implement the rating system we will do it in the next lecture.